so this is how we manage the meters in uh, uh, pan erythroplasty so this is the first step a wide dorsal metotomy and a little bit of ventral metotomy ventral metotomy is 5 to 10 millimeters depending upon the distance from the meters to the corona in the second step this becomes this much wide the meters becomes this much wide after cutting both ways now with stay sutures you pull the two edges apart and you find that there is a big raw area in the floor of the glands with the native urethra seen as two strips on each side put a forceps inside the meters to see that it goes well and there is no further stricture to be divided of course this may be accomplished after the perineal dissection divides the penile part of the urethra also but if the urethra the terminal urethra the meters and the uh, fossa granulae navicularis is adequate then the forceps should go like this next you apply the skin or the buccal mucosa that you have in the floor of the glands one suture is at 12 o'clock another to anchor this graft to the depths of the glands the glands floor has to be divided by several strokes of 15 number blade to make it wide enough to allow that forceps wide open after you have anchored the graft this is the position you take five sutures on the edges of the graft in the width of the graft there are three sutures one in midline and two on the sides then this graft is sutured to the native divided glenular urethra on each side the suture that you are seeing here are those two sutures and this is the urethra which has gone inside the skin which has gone inside or the buccal mucosa that has gone inside this is what you see these are the two stay sutures which were the number 4 and number 5 stitches which you have taken from the meter side then when the penis is delivered in the perineum you have the spatulated penile urethra till whatever length is the stricture you have the invaginated skin or buccal mucosa and these two sutures which were applied from the glands are now pulled into the wound on the perineum the sutures are left long and they are pulled in so that you know till where you have sutured in the glands do not pull them very strongly otherwise it will pucker the glands just pull them to know that what is the next length where you have to take the suture so there is nothing left to heal on its own you have these two sutures which were applied from the glands side now presenting in the perineum because you left them long and pulled with the buccal mucosa and this is the first suture of the perineal side first suture you take from the buccal mucosa to the laid open urethra guided by these two sutures which were taken from the glans side so that you know where to take the next suture 
and this will come there this will come there this is how you perfectly allow the buccal mucosa to line the glandular urethra and the fossa navicularis properly